everybody i can give you guys this really isn't going to be a review per se for love and hip-hop i say that because <clears throat> i was just sitting back watching not really taking notes and then you know somebody posted something is like because i was like fuck i'm damn near tempted to do review and uh my girl chris was just like i'll go ahead and do it so here i am so <clears throat> i'm gonna speed through this <laughs> because not a whole lot happened that really requires a lot of talking. So I'm going to try to go down the list of people. Um, <clears throat> let's see. With Jocelyn, she's attached to her baby. All is well. Didn't know she could find a love like that. Uh, they even flashed back to when she had an abortion with uh, her and Stevie's first child. Is what it is. At one point, she meets with um, <clears throat> lovely Mimi. And then it seemed like lovely, lovely Mimi is trying to kind of like repair things or kind of bring her and Tommy together, bring up the whole, um, what do you call it, restraining order. Jocelyn was trying to hear that and pretty much told her, you need to move a little bit better in these damn streets. That's all the fuck that was. All right, so Jocelyn, Tommy, of course, isn't on here. Um, let's see. <clears throat> Mimi, nothing really happened with Mimi. I'm trying to kind of like go down the list and hit all the main people before um, we talk about some shit. Okay, so the episode itself, it did start off with, of course, the guys being there showing up. So in reference to Tammy, walk out on stage and conveniently perform the song that I guess just got released not that long ago. He couldn't. I want now y'all let me know does he have a song in his repertoire that is a love song whatever because that probably would have been a little bit more appropriate but whatever did that for Tammy and I mean that's really all that there is for Tammy you know she's still playing the whole hard to get thing so now we got Kirk and Rashida Kirk is there this is yeah the beginning of the show and Kirk oh and I'm sorry Rashida doesn't want to talk to Kirk. It's just that simple, but she meets up with him later, I'm assuming the very next day, and pretty much what was, uh, you know, they were discussing everything. She brings up Logan, which I don't understand why she brought up Logan, because that kind of gave him like an out of, oh, you know, I'm going to get it, like, because now he wants to get a DNA test and get it, I guess, served uh, by an attorney, so there's uh, no tampering with anything, whatever. But that is his particular plan. And he <clears throat> he even said, oh, you know, I kept saying that, you know, she was a scammer this and third. But here's the thing, bro. Whether or not she is or isn't a scammer, you see, what, what you're not realizing is you was raw dog. When you the one that fucked her without a condom on. But I digress. Um, And I think the last person that I really want to talk about is... I'm going to jump to the, well, no, nah, I'm, I'm going to tell you how it is. So, all the girls are, well, pretty much everybody is kind of sitting together and whatnot. And the girls are pretty much trying to encourage Rashida. That's cute. <clears throat> now, apparently, Treasure has met with, um, here's the, I don't even remember the damn girl name. But uh, Kirk's uh, alleged baby mama girlfriend. Shit, I, ain't, I ain't got time to be memorizing all these motherfucking names and shit. And, um, and if y'all think I'm going to talk about that damn um, scene with old girl and Logan, I'm not going to do that. Why? Because, okay, you work in the day shift. Ain't making no fucking money. Yeah. So anyway, back to this shit. Um, so apparently... Treasure and talk to old girl. So she decides that she wants to bring this up because she doesn't, because I said, I guess her being a side chicken, she even said that. I guess with her story, I guess she's polishing it up now, going from the whole, oh, well, you know, I deals with Mary Man too. I was with somebody. I found out months into that he was, whatever. Don't nobody fucking care. But apparently she wants to defend the side chick because apparently the side chick. You know, they have stories, too. And I think we all do agree that a girl named Jasmine, not the girlfriend of the girlfriend, but Jasmine has a story. And here's the thing. That's true. And Rashida shouldn't be mad. 
at Jasmine. And if anything, maybe 5% mad, but all of the anger needs to be towards her husband. Because had he not been wrong, thought we wouldn't be here. Cool, got it. But Trash had already got furred and shit for talking about business that doesn't belong to her. I think she got snatched up the first time, too. This time around, you want to sit here and bring up somebody else's business. And Rashida kind of looking like, now, I don't think that this was control. I think, how can I say? I don't think it was contrived, but I can tell that Don was sitting back just like, fuck, I need to make sure I uh, come back next season. But she wants to sit here and bring it up and talk about Rashida's business. Now, if you wanted to empower her, that is one thing. If you wanted to bring this up, that's one thing, too. But why would you bring this woman's business up in front of other fucking people and on camera? So she did that. And what happened after that was some good motherfucking television because Rashida got up. Dom stood up. Now, Tammy is sent telling Rashida, no, you don't leave. You stay. No, if anybody going to leave, this bitch over here going to leave. I'm paraphrasing, but it was something along those lines. Now, when I say, I think Dom in that moment took a second to figure out how can I reach out and touch this bitch without uh, compromising my job. I think that's what she was saying in her head. Because it looked like she wanted to go for a punch, but she didn't. Or maybe she was going to pull a wig from Jump Street. I don't know. But she went and uh, let's just say uh, she snatched that hoe. Uh, she snatched that hoe. And I think we all were on Twitter having a good ass fucking time. I know I um, posted a picture. You know, kind of a side by side. You know, hey, and I had to let somebody on, on Twitter know I ain't shit. <laughs> I'm, I really ain't shit. But hey, I saw what I saw. I wish you no know, um. Down with a gay old girl, two piece in the biscuit, but that ain't what the fuck we got. And that's pretty much that. It ended with Dom getting proposed to, and that's it. Like a whole lot didn't happen. And I think if I would have either taken notes or done the whole talking in between um, commercials, that this probably would have been a little bit lengthy. But I just want to talk about the, the, the shit and whatnot. Uh, sometime this week, I'll try to, I'll give you guys a where I've been, and if y'all watch me, y'all know it's been business, so it ain't really been, it hasn't even been held, it's mostly been business, though I have been sick for the past two weeks, and Mr. Chilaki did, um, tag me in a video, so I still owe, well, you guys, but I do owe him that, uh, that tag video. So that's all I got. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please rate, comment, subscribe, and share. I will see you guys on the next video. It will not be the basketball hoes because it's playing right now. So it is what the fuck it is. But if not <laughs> this week, hopefully next week, uh, my schedule resumes. I'm just trying to make sure that nothing kind of pops up between now and then. So that's all I got. I'm done talking. Peace.